Here we go, the lightning round. Each candidate will have 15 seconds to show oh, how awesome. awesome. <laughs> Sound awesome. All right, 15 seconds. The candidates will respond in, in short order to these questions. India will lead off with you. Do you keep the staffers on the mayor's current staff or do you clean house when you're elected mayor? Well, luckily, I am, have worked for Mayor O'Hara for three years, so I know that many of them are awesome people who are very effective at their jobs. My first uh, goal will be to replace the people who are retiring, including our finance director, the head of information services, and the head of community relations. So that will be my priority. Eddie? Yeah, you know, I think clean house is not the right word. I, I think that it's, it's important to look at who we have, and, and I agree. The finance director and the IT director will be uh, our biggest challenges, but there will be some restructuring that I would like to do maybe after 30 or 40 years. I mean, maybe we need to do some restructuring in the org chart, so we'll look at that. How many doors have you knocked on? How many more to go? Thousands and thousands. I'll be knocking on doors until 7 o'clock election night. <laughs> I, would say, I would say, uh, yeah, thousands and thousands, and we still have thousands and thousands to knock on. I'm just grateful that it's a little... You haven't come to mine yet. I'm waiting. All right. Okay, give us your address. I'm in, I'm in North Knoxville, not far. Uh, how about this one, Eddie? You'll lead us off. Glenn Jacobs, good or great or indifferent so far as mayor of the county? Uh, mayor Jacobs and I have a great relationship, and we talk quite often. And uh, I think he's doing a great job, and I think that the, the Knox County residents are, are really proud of the job he's doing. I, I think So I think they're excited. I think he's doing great. India? Uh, I have a good working relationship with Mayor Jacobs and look forward to continuing that. Um, I, uh, I think that he's off to a very solid start and I look forward to having a good working relationship. We are about to have a council that is going to be uh, women dominated. Thoughts on that? Good, bad, or indifferent? India? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> good quick answer there. Eddie? I would also agree awesome. Uh, it is also that. historic. Yes, yeah. it is historic. The Knoxville Coliseum, Eddie, is going through some renovations. Do you keep it? Do you tear it down? What's the future for the Knoxville Coliseum? I think it certainly would be my intent to keep it uh, and, and modify it and update it, date it as much as we possibly could without just spending a ton of money on it. India? I would want to listen to the community and in particular think of that in light of the negative impacts of urban renewal. So uh, listen to the community and, and keep it is what I'm hearing from the community. Greenways and the urban wilderness, your thoughts and your vision going forward, India? I think the urban wilderness is one of the best things that Mayor O'Hara has worked on and protected, and I want to continue it and grow it. I, I love the Gateway Project. I think it's good for our economy. I think it's good for our health, and I'm all for you know, promoting it. Yeah, I think the urban wilderness is a great opportunity, really, to impact tourism. Greenways and the parks, you know, it's obvious that 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 really enhances the quality of life and drives economic development. So I'm all about uh, maintaining those. Eddie, uh, one nice thing about your opponent. Uh, she has remained civil and respectful throughout the entire campaign. I'll say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and we're gonna, uh, Johan, go for it. We'll squeeze one more in. Okay. Um, we've heard complaints or sort of grousing through the years about uh, it would be better, we would have better voter participation in the Knoxville elections if we had them in the same years as, say, legislative uh, years. Other people don't agree with that. I'm curious on your thoughts as to whether you would agree with the idea, let's move city elections into that so that we could have more folks taking part. Well, more folks sounds good, but not if they're there to vote for governor and haven't even studied the candidates. So the plus of having it in odd years is that people, only people who really care and are informed voters go. And when I knock on doors of city voters, they know the issues and they care. And so that's a plus. Uh, you know, I think there are pros and cons, but the status quo is what I'm working with right now. <laughs> Eddie? Yeah, I, I've heard that many, many, many times, and I think it's a little confusing because so many people are saying, so you're running for mayor. I thought, I thought that wrestler was the mayor. It's like, no, this is the city mayor. That's the county mayor. So I think it's very confusing. So I, that, we might, that might be a good option. All right. India, your closing argument in 20 seconds for voters to pick you. Uh, well, I'm ready to lead from day one. I had a great uh, achievement record as chair and member of the school board. I'm responsive. I care about strong neighborhoods and, and a strong economy, and I would appreciate your votes. Eddie? 
Yeah, I, I mean, I think from an experience standpoint, being the chief operating officer and deputy of the mayor for 18 months for the city of Knoxville, early in, in Mayor O'Hara's administration, there's all the inner workings of the city, including finance and IT. And then if you coupled that with my 34 years in private sector business and managing and, and overseeing and building teams of thousands of employees, I think I'm qualified and I will lead day one. Eddie Manis and India Kincannon, we appreciate both your time. Thank you both so much. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you. Best of luck and thank you for watching Inside Tennessee. If you missed some, they're online right now at WPIR.com. Have a good day.